The report of the Judicial Panel of Inquiry, which investigated the Lekki To Plaza shooting of last year, has opened a whole new chapter into what happened on that night. The leaked report described the incident as a massacre and indicted the police for trying to cover it up. It also found that 11 persons were killed, with four others presumed dead because they are missing. In addition, it validated protesters' stands that access to help for the injured was blocked. Plus TV Africa's Ngozika HSC reports, but we warn that some pictures might be disturbing. The night of October 20, 2020, is one many youth in Lagos will not forget in a hurry. Soldiers shot at unarmed civilians, protesting against police brutality. People were killed, including 27-year-old Victor Ibanga, a gardener who had migrated to Lagos. It's one year ever since his death, but Victor's mother, Ndifreke Ibanga, is still distraught. I learned that my son went to the toll gate for the protest after work. I have made so many attempts to understand what happened since, receiving the information about his death. After seeing pictures on the internet, his younger brother was in Lagos. He made several attempts to get the cops without success. Victor was the breadwinner of the family, having left Akwaibom State for Lagos to make a living. Victor was a gardener who did other menial jobs. He has been the one taking care of the family. The killings had consistently been debunked by Nigeria's Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, including as late as last month. The military did not shoot at protesters at the Lekki Toll Gate on October 23, 2020, and there was no massacre at the Toll Gate. The only massacre recorded was in the social media. It's now clear that 11 persons were killed, four others missing and 20 sustaining gunshot injuries. Other persons were assaulted by the military, bringing to 48 the total number of identified victims. The police were also indicted for trying to cover up what is now adjudged a massacre. The Lagos state government has promised to release a white paper on the report within two weeks. For Plus TV Africa, Ngazika Ohai Chesi. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.